My name is Stephen Aaron. I'm the president and CEO and director of the Autry Museum of the American West. We celebrated our 35th anniversary last year. We have been also busily reinventing and changing ourselves to keep up with the changes in the, in, in, in the times. We had a big, wonderful anniversary celebration, big, big party here, which we really opened ourselves to the community. It was so much fun that we've decided to make it an annual event. Our mission, the Archery Museum of the American West, brings together the stories of all peoples of the American West, connecting the past with the present, to inspire our shared future. Just even in just this one gallery here, you'll see all sorts of things, and both from relatively low-tech interactive things, with spinning wheels to get people to tell and draw stories, to films that you can watch, snippets from old films that have been put together, a green screen in which you can literally put yourself into a chase scene, but a chase scene not simply of an old West, but now one that takes you into outer space and all around the cosmos. This gallery in particular, where we're trying to playfully open up our mission statement. And again, just maybe to add to this, this is the gallery that we opened most recently of the core galleries in this museum. It opened last June, in June of 2023. It replaced one of the original core galleries in the museum, and that gallery was called The Spirit of Imagination when the museum opened in 1988. There it really was a story of just the evolution of the Western. After all, what this museum is most closely associated with, what our founder, Gene Autry, is most closely associated with. And so it was, a, it was a gallery, it was about the evolution of the Western from its origins in dime novels and Wild West shows to silent movies and then into the classic Westerns and television Westerns and country Western music and so on as it played out in popular culture. In the redoing of this gallery, which I think speaks to the ways in which the Autry Museum has changed. And it starts with the title, Imagine Wests. The plural really matters here that rather than a single track, we're working on multiple tracks, multiple intersecting tracks, how many different peoples, including all the peoples of Los Angeles County, how they all have imagined the West in very different ways and different ways across different times. And then bringing all of those imaginings together into a single gallery and doing it through artifacts, media, and playful interactives. My name is Sarah Wilson. I am the Director of Education here at the Autry Museum of the American West. In two days, I'll be celebrating my 11th anniversary here at the museum. We see about 40,000 students K through college a given year. And we service students, educators of all ages. Right behind me is our Write Your West Interactive, and we're still here in the Imagine West Gallery. It is incredibly important to offer opportunities for all visitors. The interaction, some sort of haptic learning, they're not just staring at an object, they're not just reading labels, something that they can actually do that deepens that experience, gives them the fun, playful experience that actually helps those core memories lock in, which is great for our younger visitors. We have two, you know, Price is Right Plinko wheels. <laughs> On the left, you see different prompts. These are the prompts that you would expect, you would anticipate from you know, that kind of dusty Western. We got a horse, desert, tumbleweed, coyote, boots, ghost town, gold mine. This is what you would expect to see in your John Ford film, you know, the Western film or TV show. On the right, you have more unexpected prompts, alien, Surfboard, ray gun, spaceship, donut, uh, boba tea, Disney, Hollywood. These are all you know, very, very prominent aspects of especially Los Angeles, but the West. So what you are prompted to do is spin both wheels and then whatever your two prompts are, you take a play card over on the right and you write your story. All right, big money, big money, big money. Give me a good one, give me a good one. Oh, we got movie stars. How much more Hollywood and LA can you get? We're gonna write a story about maps to go see movie stars or uh, movie stars making maps. Up to each individual to write their story. 
We have this really fun digital interactive here in Imagine West. And it has, just like Jeopardy, you know, the different categories for 600 and that sort of thing. And there's one that's called, I think, Out, Outer Space, and which you might not think of as your stereotypical Western, but it has questions that connect to NASA space programs or Star Wars, you know, things like that. So you can test your knowledge that way. And it's a really fun way to add in additional content without having to read, you know, a treatise on labels, text or anything like that. We know the average visitor spends about seven seconds standing in front of an object or reading the labels. So we have to find ways to get their attention and to keep their attention. Interactives are the perfect way to do that. A lot of people think that history is not relevant to them today. Why would I study history? It's not interesting. Those people way back then have nothing to do with my life today here in Los Angeles. And so what we do here at the Autry, both in the exhibitions but in our education programs, is find ways for students to connect with the history of the West, whether it's find connections from their own family experiences. We talk about people who migrated to Los Angeles is it similar to their own family history, their own family experiences? So ways for them to connect either personally or to find similarities in the people they're learning about. That helps it make it relevant for the students. They're more interested, they're more excited to learn. What they learn actually stays with them for longer and it really deepens that experience. So much of what we think of as the American West was in many ways invented here. In, in filmed here in some cases, uh, and the earliest movies, but also invented by screenwriters and producers working out of Hollywood, working out of Los Angeles. So in some ways, that Los Angeles isn't a place outside the West. Los Angeles is the Westest West. Los Angeles is where the West, where all the issues that define the history of the American West play out only more so, and that what happens here doesn't stay here. We export the West to the rest of the West, and we export it actually to the rest of the world. Getting money from LA County matters more than other dollars because I think it reflects something that I think is absolutely crucial to this museum. We want to be a destination for, we want to be a resource for the people who live here. That's our audience. Getting support from LA County matters to us because it, supporting LA County matters to us as a museum. And I think that reciprocal bond is really crucial.